Okay, let's try a more complicated example. This is the sort of thing that I want you to be able to do eventually. It could come in very handy in real life. Let's see. Uh, we have to do things in parentheses first. Let's see, let's evaluate these. Point, let's see, this is multiplication and that's addition. Now, notice that, what is this? 0 0.005 times negative 5,000. So you can't use the minus button for negative. You have to use the plus minus button. So we have 0 0.005 times 5,000. And on my calculator, the cheaper kind of calculator, you have to type in the number first and then the negative. And then you get negative 25. And, well, okay, negative 25. So this is negative 25 plus 250, 1.005, that's not too hard, 1, 1 plus 005 is 1.005, 3 times 12 is 36, remember these invisible parentheses, you have to evaluate that first, and then we have minus 250 all over 0 0.005. And I want you to copy everything over. Anything that you're not messing with, don't just write the negative 25. You will lose it. So many people lose it. Let's see. We have to do this in the parentheses. That is 225. 225. That's 250 minus 25. Now, this is going to be multiplied by this. This is an exponent, and that is subtraction. We have to do the exponent first. I might as well do that now to save a little bit of space. 1.005 raised up to the 36th power is, let's do four digits, 1196. I'm going to round that to 1.197 because that's six. So 1.197 times 1.197 minus 250, all divided by 0 0.005. Now remember, there's invisible parentheses here too. If you want to make a go of it, if you want to say this times this minus this divided by this, you're going to have to use parentheses. Or we could figure out the whole top first. Let's see if we do the whole top in one go. A lot of calculators will do things correctly in short bits. 225 times 1.197 is that number. We then subtract 250 and we get that number. And actually we could now divide it by 0 0.005 because we have that number. If you have a fancier calculator, you have to you would have to use the parentheses. Well, why don't we take a step? Why don't we say 19.325? This is 19.325 divided by 0 0.005. Make sure we have that number, make sure that there's nothing else going on, divided by 0 0.005 and we get 3865. 3,865 is the answer. Now, if you hadn't rounded, you would get a slightly different answer. If you had used 1.196, because it's a different number, you're going to get different answers. If you had used more digits, if you had gone to more digits, you would get a different answer. But it's going to be pretty close, as long as you're making sure that you have at least four significant digits.